Hey, my name is Carlene McGuffey and I'm doing this video for Health Union. I'm a hepatitis C advocate and I wanted to share a little bit of information about hepatitis C and whether or not it can be cured naturally. And the short answer is that no, it cannot be cured with herbs or natural medicine or diet and exercise, things like that. Hepatitis C is a really hardy virus and it's difficult to kill. And even with the strongest of medicines, which used to be interferon and ribavirin, which is, uh, interferon is a, a type of medicine that was used to treat cancer. And it's actually one of the ingredients in some of the poisons that they use to kill animals. It was very, 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 very harsh medicine, interferon uh, mixed with ribavirin. There was still only a 40% chance of curing this virus. So, and, um, not only is it hardy, um, it it uh, also is sneaky in that a lot of times it used to be that people would get the virus and then they would clear the virus with the medicine, with the interferon or ribavirin, um, and then it, it would resurface. And so it would kind of lie dormant and sneak back up and manifest itself. And so it's a really difficult virus to treat. And there are a lot of um, quacks and misinformation and and um, websites out there citing all kinds of wild information regarding hepatitis C and natural cures and milk thistle and and um, things like that. And I would just strongly urge people to consult their doctor. And I'm not one of those kinds of people who says that you know every time I talk to someone because. I've been without insurance and I've been without um, access to a doctor and I've really had to rely on the internet and I've had to rely on Google and so I'm not um, inclined to always just say, hey, consult your doctor, consult your doctor. And yet the liver is very sensitive and liver disease is very serious and it's not something that you can feel. And so if you were to take these um, herbs all of them are processed by the liver. Everything that we eat, drink, smell, ingest, rub on our skin um, in some form or fashion. This little battery, my battery's low, so forgive that. But um, everything that we ingest or take in in any way into our body is at least somewhat uh, metabolized by the liver. And so it's really important that we do talk to our doctors and our pharmacists about the medicines that we're taking, the medicines that we're mixing, even, um, even natural medicines that may be good for a person who doesn't have liver disease like milk thistle. I don't know a lot about it, but I just know, you know, perhaps it really is great for the liver. But if you have a compromised liver, even though it may be good for your liver, if you have a healthy liver to maintain that health, um, having a compromised liver is a whole different um, scenario. And so it really needs to be run by your doctor. The, the answer is that no, natural medicine cannot cure or even really touch this virus. Fortunately, there are new antivirals out that are up to 99% effective. And there was one antiviral out two, two and a half years ago, and now there's 15 or 16 antivirals out to treat every genotype. Um, the price has come down by about 90% in some areas, and so we're headed in the right direction. We don't need natural medicine or the old regimens that were very harsh to treat this disease. There's a lot of hope out because there is a cure for hepatitis C.